What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze. Today we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully you guys are having a very, very good day today. And today we have here the official uh, V Jump scan here for the legendary Vegeta event, which we actually get a small tease. Um, very, very nice, very, very good. And honestly, I just can't wait for this to be on global. Now, unfortunately, as you guys know, like the first legendary Goku event. This was first drop on JP on the 9th of May and then later on a couple months down the stretch here Global finally got it on October 3rd. Now this is unfortunate. I feel like this category or this event here sorry, should be on both versions and I, I don't see the reason why but I mean I, I guess the reason why they're probably doing this is because as you guys know with the new events have been coming out on both versions of Dokkan. Um, they have been pushing the new categories right? And I feel like maybe this is the point is that they want to push the new categories because as we know here on the category list here, JP only has two more categories more than global. But the moment that probably the legendary Vegeta event comes out on JP side, they're probably introduce one more category and they're probably going to push these new categories on for like the missions, right? Because if we actually even look here at the legendary GT Goku event, they were pushing the new categories, right? So they're pushing Battle of Wits, Reps Universe 7, Giant Ape, um, space driving warriors, you know, they were pushing the new categories, corroded body and mind, right? So, again, I, I mean, I guess it's fair play, right? Because uh, you, they, they, they do want you to summon on the for the new characters for the new category, but still, I feel like even without the leaders, we could def definitely get the missions done. But you know, it is what it is. I mean, also, we also don't have here Defender of Justice, like, we do have it on global, but we don't have the leader, so they're probably gonna probably push these, these categories. Uh, for the missions for the legendary Vegeta event, which you know, I'm not too mad about but you know It is what it is, but uh, I definitely wish that this was both on global and JP Now what can we expect from this event? We, we can definitely expect it to be exactly the same thing as the Goku event But maybe not as easy right because as you guys know the legendary Goku event right now is just really really easy You could probably do this with your eyes closed if you have a very good account because all you really need here are very sta good stacking units But even on top of that um even, even, um, sorry, even with uh, stacking units, there's also EZAs, there's like ama amazing LR. So, really, there's just, you know, the, this event here is just way too easy. So, I, I would probably like a little bit more challenge um, when it comes to the event. So, I wouldn't be too mad if it's actually the same here, like the legendary uh, GT Goku event. Now, I don't want it at the same level as difficulty, probably in the middle between the GT and the original Goku. Event. I think that makes much more sense. Uh, just because for new players are into the game of Dokkan and they get that new shiny card, they could probably easily beat the event here. So I wouldn't be too mad uh, if they do something in the middle. Now, is it going to be 7 stages? Is it going to be 8 stages? Who really knows? I think it will be 8 stages in total with all the transformations. Because we can even see here on the scans here that we are getting a kind of a little tease of what the transformations, what to expect for the um, for the Legendary Vegeta event here. Now, what would be a very good twist would, would probably make me switch to JP like in a heartbeat. Is that if they actually include the new um, Vegeta form here, which we don't know what it's called, but it's probably going to be called the God of Destruction because it looks very, very good. But I'm in love with the new form. He has no eyebrows like Super Saiyan 3, so that would be really, really cool if they actually do include it. But again, I don't think they're going to include it in the um, Legendary Vegeta event, but if they did, that would be a very, very good surprise. And that celebration, whenever this Vegeta comes out, uh, would just make it 10 times better, right? So. Um, again, it is unfortunate that Global is going to have to wait for this type of event. Um, I probably, if what else I would expect here is that they probably will limit your items. Now, hopefully they don't limit it to two items and maybe just limit it to three items. So it's like kind of in between, sorry. So it's kind of in between here, the Legendary Goku event and the GT Goku event. Because what makes the Legendary GT Goku event is that you're only allowed to have your two items, right? And, you know, it could be very difficult depending on the category that you have to bring. Like, for example, Corroded Body and Mind. That was like one of the most difficult ones here. So again, I would be pretty okay if we actually only have your three items. I think that would be really, really nice. But again, it all depends how they make the mode here. Um, if they make it exactly like the first um, Legendary Goku event, no, I can't be too mad, but I just hope that there's a little bit more, I guess, spark to it. Like maybe he hits way harder, or maybe he locks your rotation, something like that. Because again, if it's just exactly like the... The Goku event, I think it'll be very boring for a lot of players, but I mean, it'll be very easy for you to collect Dragon Stones, right? And also some tickets as well. I do expect that we are going to be getting some tickets as well, where you could probably summon on the Vegeta banner and probably pull some LR, so like LR Majin Vegeta. Um, I guess the LR Angel Vegeta, that would be really cool as well. You have a chance to pull them as well. 
Uh, how many LR Vegeta cards do we have here? Let me actually take a look here. Characters. Let's go by name. Let's actually go here to Vegeta. Because Goku, there's quite a lot of LRs, right? But for Vegeta, do you have any... How many LRs do you have? Let's see. Vegeta. How many LRs do you have? You have... Well, this is LR, Vegeta, and Nappa. So I'm not sure if I would count you. But we'll just count you for now. So that's going to be one. And that's going to be two right here. You're free to play. Right? And then... Let's see. Oh. Well, I mean, there's no way you can definitely pull this guy for free. I, I highly doubt that, right? But... No, we'll just, we'll just put him in here. So we said one. We said two for you. Then we said three for you. Yeah, so we're at so far we're at three, right? I didn't miss anyone. Yeah, so so far we're at three. Any other? Oh, four. Him, he can definitely be part of it because he's just on every single, every single banner here. All right, so that's number... F I lost count. I'm going to go with number five here. <laughs> number five. Um, any other Vegeta cards? No. Okay, so there's only like four or five LRs that you could probably pull the tickets, which I, again wouldn't be too mad. I mean, it is a free LR, so I'd definitely take it, but I mean, it all depends what else they decide to put on the banner. Maybe it'll probably a Dokkan Fest exclusive as well. That would be pretty nice as well, uh, because there are not that many LRs but for Vegeta, but it'd, be, it'd still be pretty nice to have. Um, so yeah, that's what exactly what we could expect here. That We could expect it to be probably seven to eight stages. Um, the tickets are probably going to give us a chance to pull a new, I mean, an old Vegeta card. Probably an LR or a Dokkan Fest. That could probably happen here. Uh, we could expect here some missions based on the new categories that came out on on, uh, on the game of Dokkan. So you get some more Dragon Stones. And um, yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, there's not much to go off about. But uh, I am pretty excited for the uh, Legendary Vegeta event here. Again, if they would include the... Um, this Vegeta's new form, I would hands down, probably, I, I, I would have to play on the moment it comes out here, right? So, that's going to be that here. And also, we have one more information very, very quickly here. Shout out here to Luca from Dokkan. Uh, yeah, Luca Dokkan here. Uh, he actually does talk about uh, the World Tournament, the 40 event of the World Tournament, that there is going to be here a upgrade or kind of a boost here. So, unfortunately, it's going to be the same gameplay, but there is going to be like a higher incentive. Because as you can see, it says here bonus in, in commemoration of the 40 event. The appearance rate of bonus maps and bonus, bonus teams will increase. So basically, um, you can earn points much faster. But again, I'm not, I'm not too thrilled about the, the. Um, I mean, I will say that the new LR is actually very, very nice. The um, uh, what's his name here? Uh, LR. I can't, I can't, I can't put his name on right now. Um, I'm thinking of Tapion for some reason, but. Um, Tao, there you go. For LR Tao, I mean, he's really good. I would definitely, obviously, want to get a copy of him. But again, um, just the World Tournament, I need, I need like a new system or something because this is nice to get a chance for you to get more points, right? But I mean, doing the same event over and over again, it's not that exciting for me, in my opinion, anyway, right? So that's going to be it, my boys. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys happy for the Legendary Vegeta event? What do you expect from it? You think it'd be much difficult? You, sorry, do you think it'd be very difficult uh, compared to the original one, or you think it'd be the exact same level? Um, and you think here and probably that we'll probably get the new God form in this event here, right? So that's gonna be it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit like button, sub for more videos, come down below, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.